Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today, a little bit of an update on my uh, little old lady method of cryptocurrency trading. Uh, something I kind of learned from watching DaVinci J15 videos. Again, the link will be down below. Um, so we'll see how that trading is going and uh, be back in a bit. Hey guys, real quick, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, I'll probably be doing about one of these videos once a month just to give everyone an update. Usually I do uh, mining videos and stuff like that, speculative coin mining. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. All right, so little old lady man, let me pull up. This is my chart that I started, uh, as you can see, back on February 5th. I've got about 32 trades. You guys can pause the video and look real quick over what I've got. Um, did about three of them today, as you can see down there on 326. Bought some hot, some Sidecoin, and some Syndicator. So basically how it is, the asset uh, percent of BTC buy-in, the total amount of BTC I was using it to start off with was that. Uh, not too much, a couple hundred bucks. Um, but this is the percentage of that total BTC that I invested in each one of these assets, coins, projects, whatever you want to call it. Uh, of course, the date that I bought it, the exchange, right now I'm mainly dealing with Binance because I've already uh, verified through them. I really don't want to go to a bunch of different exchanges and upload my ID and all that crap unless I have to. So I'm sticking with Binance for right now. I know that kind of limits me, but they do have a lot of coins on there I can um, buy and sell. Uh, amount in BTC I spent on all the coins goes right here and that directly correlates with the actual percentage that I chose to um, invest in. Um, how much in BTC I purchased each one of these assets at. This is what's in this column right here. Again, you can scroll, scroll down real quick and you can pause the video and look if you want. Okay, first sell. Now notice all the ones in green are all the orders that were filled so far on Binance. The ones in red, of course, have not been filled. So I've got 10, I think it was. That's 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. So I've got 10 orders filled. And all the way on the first cell column, all the way over here, if I scroll over, first cell, second cell, third cell, the ones in blue here, I've already been able to sell, which means that when I went in and first purchased it, uh, let's say I purchased it at $13.43, the price actually doubled so I could sell. Um, so I sold some Z-Coin when it doubled at $26.86, so I made my investment back. And also Ravencoin, uh, 56 um, Satoshi's, that's probably more than that. It's about 56, 560 maybe, is that right? Anyways, I got my money back on that and also with Ravencoin, it doubled again, so I uh, was able to sell again and I've actually doubled my money on that right now as far as my investment on Ravencoin. So I'm kind of just waiting, sitting back and waiting right now. I do every once in a while go in and pick up some more. You can see in February, mid-February, late February, now late March, I kind of will go back in and find some more coins to buy. So over here on Binance, I've already got the, uh, um, what do you call it, the market pulled up. And basically what I do, this is just me, um, not investment advice guys, it's just what I'm doing. But I will kind of take the 24-hour change and I kind of look to see what coin dropped the most I mean I who knows if this is the right way to do this or not and then I'll also go through and look um, to see what the cheapest coin is like right now BitTorrent's dropped 5% so I'll go into here which I have already bought some of this and then I'll look and I will pull up my Fibonacci um, retracement lines let me see if I can zoom in on that. Let me go to what are we on trading view. Why don't I see my little chart? Well, it was there. Hold on a sec. All right, so like take for instance, 
like I said, BitTorrent, I will usually only do it like a three month type of a um, span, but BitTorrent is uh, only a couple weeks here. Not a couple weeks, a couple months. So let me pick another one. Just pick anything. 24 hour change. Let me see. Something that's cheaper. Rin. That one just came out today, so that's probably not good. Not today, but um, it spiked up a lot today. So, well, let me just take you for example. I would just go like this. Um, Fibonacci retracement. I would find the top here. And I would bring this up. Find that about right there. It depends on what range you want to use. This is kind of how I do it. And I would go all the way down. Looks like it's about right there. And then right here, let me move this over so you can see it better. All right, that is not correct. There we go. Let me find the bottom and the top. So this is this rough estimate. So you would see the 78.6. I'm lining it up with the top spike there and the bottom down here. So I usually get in at 78.6 right there. So in this case, it would be 516 I would, I would buy in at if I were buying this right now. Um, but that's in a nutshell how I do it. Like I said, I'll come in here. I don't do it every day, as, as you can see by that chart. But I like to find a 24-hour change, something that's dropped a lot, and then, I, and then it's usually like a couple cents or less. So I can get a lot of coins, bigger upside at least, um, in my opinion, and from my limited experience. All right, so that's about it, guys. Um, guys, have any questions or comments? Uh, be sure to put them down below. Again, this is what what I've done, what I've got in at. The greens are one that's been filled, and I'm sure in the future, as it goes forward, a lot of these other ones, especially if the market takes a dump, which I kind of hope, so all these will get filled. Um, it's kind of bittersweet, I guess, um, but these would all then get filled at some point, and then when the next bull run all these would start going up and I can sell on the double, sell half on a double every time. It's one thing I forgot to uh, mention. So when I did sell right here, I basically sold half of what I initially invested and the next time I'll sell half of what I have left and so on and so forth. But like I said, uh, DaVinci explains it much better. Link is down below. It's free videos. Go check them out if you guys are interested in doing this kind of thing. But it does work as you can see already twice right now sold on the double two times on Raven once on Z coin so it's an easy method to follow it's safe um, and doesn't take uh, much much knowledge up front all right guys um, anyways that's my update on my trading if you guys have any questions or comments just put them down below I'll be sure to answer them uh, if you like this video hit that thumbs up and uh, with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.